Today, I'm going to share another sad love poem, which had shared by Sheikh Hamdan's second wife, Hadia Zen. She shared this poem on 21st of March in 2024. First of all, I would like to tell you to turn on subtitles in your language. Especially if you don't understand English. Please click this and next select captions. Then you will see many languages. Select your language from that list. Then you will see subtitles in your language. First of all, I would like to share the original poem image, which had shared by Hadia Zen on that day. Keep your eye on it because after that, I'm going to share the translation of it. Poem Translation In shadows cast by whispered doubts, my heart bleeds silent, deep with pouts. For in your gaze, his love does stray, to fields where younger blossoms play. With grace and charm, she steals his eye, while I, his second, slowly die. In whisper soft, her laughter rings while mine fades to forgotten things. O oh, love once fierce, now lost in time, as younger blooms replace what's mine. Yet still I weep in silent night, for love that fades devoid of light. So let this verse my sorrow tell of love betrayed where shadows dwell. For though my heart may ache and pine, I'll linger in the echoes of thine. In the first and second verses, she says, In shadows cast by whispered doubts, my heart bleeds silent, deep with pouts to Adia begins by expressing her inner turmoil and sadness, feeling overshadowed by doubts and insecurities. She describes her pain silently bleeding within her, marked by deep pouts, suggesting her suppressed emotions. Why this happens, it is because Hadia thinks that Sheikh Hamdan loves Shama more than her. In the third and fourth verses, she says, For in your gaze, his love does stray to fields where younger blossoms play. Here, she reveals her perception of her husband's wandering affection. She believes that when he looks at her, his love strays to another woman, symbolized as younger blossoms, indicating his attraction towards someone else. In the fifth and sixth verses, she says, 
With grace and charm, she steals his eye, while I, his second, slowly die. Hadiya compares herself to the new love interest of her husband, highlighting the qualities that captivate his attention. She feels neglected and sidelined, experiencing a slow emotional death as she watches him being drawn to someone else. In the seventh and eighth verses, she says, in whispers soft, her laughter rings while mine fades to forgotten thing. This verse underscores the stark contrast between the joy and laughter shared by her husband and his new love interest, juxtaposed against her own fading presence and significance in his life, relegated to the realm of forgotten memories. In the ninth and tenth verses, she says, O oh love, once fierce, now lost in time, as younger blooms replace what's mine. Here, Hadia laments the fading intensity of their love, once powerful and fierce, now overshadowed by the allure of youth and novelty, represented by the new woman in her husband's life. In the 11th and 12th verses, she says, Yet still I weep in silent night for love that fades, devoid of light. Despite her attempts to conceal her pain, she confesses to shedding tears in the solitude of night, mourning the loss of a love that has dimmed and lost its radiance, leaving her in emotional darkness. In the 13th and 14th verse, she says, So let this verse, my sorrow tell, of love betrayed, where shadows dwell. The poem concludes with the poetess acknowledging her sorrow and betrayal, encapsulating her emotions in this verse. She dwells in these shadows of her husband's newfound love, haunted by the pain of being replaced and overlooked. In the 15th and 16th verses, she says, For though my heart may ache and pine, I'll linger in the echoes of thine. Despite her heartache and longing, she resigns herself to lingering in the echoes of her husband's presence, unable to let go completely, despite the pain inflicted upon her. So this is the poem which had shared by Sheikh Hamdan's second wife, Hadia Zen, on 21st of March in 2024. She is actually in pain because of Sheikh Hamdan's behavior. So I hope you would understand every single word of her poem. And I hope you would enjoy this video. If you like my videos, please subscribe and hit the bell icon below so that you won't miss my any other video. Thanks for watching.